guys, welcome to Veggie Mama, and today I am going to make a, a lasagna that I made this week. Um, and my son Timothy, my youngest son, he requested it again. He said, Mommy, you, you need to put this on your, your YouTube channel. I said, Okay, so today's preparation day, preparing for the Shabbat. Today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. So I'm going to be using um, this is going to be gluten free. I'm going to be using this past this gluten free um brand um pasta. It's very good i like it good texture you don't you don't miss um wheat when you use this brand um pasta so i'm going to be using that so my cheese i'm going to use two types of cheese i'm going to be using the dead cheese and also i'm going to make a tofu ricotta cheese and this is i'm going to be making it so this is two blocks of tofu right here and my son timothy is going to be helping me so he's gonna be mashing up the tofu. Tell me to wash it off. Wash it off, please. Put some muscle in it, Timothy. Flex that muscle. Okay, so next I'm gonna be adding, thank you, Timothy. I'm gonna be adding some um, sour cream to it. The tofu, just one. The whole thing, one tub, and this is 12 ounces. Go ahead, Timothy. Just mix it around. Now mix it around first before you add the salt to it. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you the consistency here. This is how you want it to be. So next, I'm going to add some... um sea salt this is um emulating pink salt and nutritional yeast flake is gonna make it give it a nice cheesy texture so I'm gonna put it in there nutritional yeast flakes is also loaded with B12 I have all the B12s in it and I'm gonna do your research so I'm gonna mix this around and this is gonna be my ricotta cheese And I'm not gonna eat this because that day of cheese there can't have the day of cheese. So, but I'm planning on making a cheese for myself whenever I get my Vitamix. So, I'm gonna be this is. Just um, salt to taste. Salt to taste. Just taste as you go, guys. And it's perfect right there. So next I'm going to be doing the spinach. Okay, guys. I'm going to be doing the spinach now. And I'm, when I eat spinach, you know, it's, my teeth feel like it got something on there. And because of this chemical that's in the spinach called oxalic acid. So that's the reason I'm going to be using... Um, squeezing some lemon juice. I don't know if you guys experience that when you eat spinach without the lemon, but this is what I do. So I'm just gonna squeeze it around there. This is half a lemon. And I like to use fresh squeezed lemon juice. What I do, I just break it down, break it in there. Getting the lemon juice. I'm just mixing it around. A little bit more in there. A little bit more. And then I'm gonna just add just a little bit of um olive oil to it. You could use oil of your preference. A little bit to it. Mix it around. And a little bit of salt to salt to taste. And then I'm going to be putting the lasagna together. And my um, for my tomato sauce, I like to get like, if I don't have fresh tomato, I like to use like the tomato paste. Then I will add, I will add like onion and garlic and peppers, you know, make my own tomato sauce. So 
I am going to sprinkle just a little bit of and water. You gotta put, you know, put water in this too. Give it a little of salt. On there that should be good enough yeah and doing like this this also helps to break down the the spinach this is around six cups of spinach okay so this is all ready so I'm going to be arranging the lasagna and next I'm going to be this is my dish right here okay, okay guys so after I finish cooking the lasagna I normally like put it in some um, cold water for it to like sit in there so it doesn't break apart it will um, keep it together so after you finish cooking it just put in some cold water and that will be perfectly fine it's not going to break apart so let's arrange this together another thing also just follow the instruction on the box how to cook the lasagna it's very just just go by the instruction guys so i'm just gonna lay the sauce bottom of the dish spread it, spread it out Right down and I'm gonna be doing a zucchini lasagna guys I've been wanting to make um, zucchini lasagna so I'm gonna do that next okay so next I'm gonna be adding just a little bit of sauce on top of it A bit of sauce on top of it. Next, I'm gonna do the cheese, the ricotta cheese. Just put it all over. Just arrange it like that. And do the spinach next. Next, I'm going to add the data cheese. Tell me, does it eat off the cheese, guys? Next, I'm going to put just arrange it just like this until it's completely finished so this is the last um layer so i'm just gonna finish it up with you guys and like i said you could use whatever the, the boys over there fooling around guys vegetable you want in here you could even use um zucchini okay so next i'm going to put the tomato sauce on top of this Then the ricotta. This looks really good, guys. Really, 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 really good. You could even eat this um, ricotta cheese with crackers too. 
things. Use it with um, eat it with cucumbers, Some carrots could be like a dip. It's very very delicious. So if you're not allergic to um soy, and if you make your own tofu pies, I have a video on here. Or to make your homemade tofu, could make your own, your homemade tofu. Cause I'm telling you, for with the store brand um soy milk, I just can't have it. Cause I tried it with my, cause my Vitamix not here, and it's just doesn't agree with me. But when I make my own, nothing happens. All those chemicals they put it in there. So with a sprinkle, their cheese on top. And then it'll be good to go. So I'm gonna bake this in the oven. 350 for four, half an hour to 45 minutes. This is um finished. I'm gonna let it Cool. I'm gonna cut it, but my children are hungry, so I'm gonna give them some food to eat. So, if you guys, I'm um, try this simple recipe, guys. Like this video, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.